If you haven't already done so, please print this handout. We're going to talk about volumes of gases. So I want to start off with comparing three different gases. So we've got helium, nitrogen, and oxygen. In each of these containers, we have the same pressure, the same temperature, and the same volume. And we are going to figure out how many moles of each gas are in these containers. So in the warm-up for this lesson, uh, hopefully you looked up the densities of each of these gases. If not, I'll list them now. So helium has a density of 0.179 grams per liter. Nitrogen is 1.2504, and oxygen is 1.429, all in grams per liter. So that means each liter of the gas at these pressures and temperatures would take uh, would weigh this many grams. So we've got the density of our gases. So using the density, the mass per liter, and the volume, let's figure out what is the mass of each of these gases in the container. So if we want mass, we're going to multiply the density by the volume. So I've got about 4 grams of helium, 28 grams of nitrogen, and 32 grams of oxygen in these containers. Now, I want to find the number of moles, so that means I need the molar mass. And I just use my periodic table to find those. So helium is 4 grams per mole, nitrogen is 28 grams per mole, oxygen is 32 grams per mole. So now I can do mass divided by molar mass to find number of moles. And would you look at that, they're all about a mole each. So the whole reason I wanted to go through this exercise was to show that at a given pressure and temperature, one mole of a gas, doesn't matter what the gas is, but one mole of any gas will take up the same volume. And that leads me to this, molar volume. So molar volume is exactly what it sounds like. It's the volume of one mole of gas. And volume is just the amount of space that it takes up. Now I put a note here, molar volume is the same for every kind of gas. It does not matter whether it's nitrogen gas, oxygen gas, helium gas, chlorine gas, any kind of gas. One mole of that gas will take up a certain volume. Now that volume depends on temperature and pressure. So this is why I've separated this next part out into STP and SATP. If you'll recall, STP is 0 degrees Celsius and 101.325 kilopascals. SATP is 25 degrees Celsius and 100 kilopascals. So different temperatures and pressures will have different molar volumes. So at STP, the molar volume of a gas is 22.4 liters per mole. That means one mole of gas will take up 22.4 liters of space at STP. At SATP, it's 24.8 liters per mole. Now, I have a triangle here, just like you had for unit three where we had different formulas in triangle format, we can do the same thing here. So molar volume is equal to the volume in liters divided by the number of moles. 
And you can also figure that out from the units of molar volume. It's liters per mole. Liters divided by moles. Liters divided by moles. So from this triangle, we can figure out molar volume is volume divided by moles. Number of moles is volume divided by molar volume. And volume is equal to molar volume multiplied by number of moles. So you can get three different equations from this, and you can use those to solve problems. And on the second page of your handout, you have four questions that you can solve using the idea of molar volume. And so you can try those on your own and see how you do.